drink. Give me a drink. I shall be better than fine. I must insist, Count. You'll be much, much the safer with us at your side. Boulder Dash. Count, if I may, I believe Vilmar's in the right. Deadly thirst. There's no knowing what lurks in these wilds. Hey! Over here, please! Heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did. For we're neck deep in trouble. Of the spider kind. Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge. The size of pigs or dogs. Black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm-hmm. Not talking about spiders, then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. I knew we would agree terms. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Oh, yes. I am. Show me what you got. Oh! Significantly more. I forgot how annoying you fuckers were.
And that's all. What the? Oh, I just wondering. <sighs> Light. Any tidings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Wine trade. For a while. Not terribly long, to be canted. I apprenticed to be an alchemist, but proportions were never my strong suit. So I took to trading in wines. More pleasant, I must say. One drinks on the job, and no one ever complains. Makes sense. And the world's always a bit more bearable on a buzz. <laughs> Time I got back on the path. So long. Lads. I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. My guards lament, witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks. As you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then war will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to, uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to, uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them. Save some coin. Well, I could, surely. But they, too, deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah. So this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. 
There's also Clarissa, who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, the Paristicer Mac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A Paracesta what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? So, photographer. Basically. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more. Yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Can... Sublime! We have a deal! Houses. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. For you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. Something. Grunting. Panting. Something like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to come face to mug with a bear. We should move on. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Instead. Oh, 
Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. You're freeing a superb image. Brilliant. You freeing. Fuck all witches' hearts. This will put the light in it. Oh my! I, I failed to warn you. Apologies. The Paris Dysimac has an added lantern. You must look away or it'll blind you. Paris Dysimac's upset the animals. Better get out of here. Turn on the bike, Porching. Content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. 
They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Was tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. 
In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Francola. I'll be by. See ya. Oh, it's my bum if they're ready to blow. Slow now, whoa. Mint nettle was... Welcome, wanderer. In need of herbs, perhaps? Wart for a sore stomach, or...? Prefer willow bark or iris root for stomach aches. Wart can cause dizziness, nausea. Forgive me. It's just that you do not have the look of one familiar with herbs. What looks that? And looks deceive, anyway. Me, I'm not out for common weeds that grow in any meadow. Need rare ingredients. Can you help me out, or should I move on? You must judge for yourself. Right. Show me what you got. Meant no offense. And I took none. I should be the one to apologize for judging by appearance alone. Tell me, your knowledge, how did you gain it? From an herbalist living nearby? No, from somewhere a long way off. Kaer Morin, Northern Kedwin. Gods! That's the continent's other end. What are you doing in Tucson? Same thing I do anywhere. Killing monsters. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you?
Alright, that's not the card's plate. Nature's bounty. Move it! Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Keep calm! Start no pros! Slow now, whoa. Let's go.
spawning ground. Should destroy it. We, uh, I... Thank you. We, uh, I... Thank you. See, you're the Duke of this, the Duke of that, you're the Duke of Tom Tittle. The fuck? Run, Roach. Come on now. Seriously.
Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed, and I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In Arthur News, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, B.B. at one time. Set. Lights. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh god. Hmm.
B.B., know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. The equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, B.B.? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Feels like by investing a bit of coin, I could make the house more functional. Indeed. Momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things as a new bed, or additional armor stands, or weapon racks. Also, some new furnishings, and a fresh coat of paint on the walls would do much to improve the guest quarters. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and I shall order you a bed from the carpenters who craft comfort for the court. <sighs> God. Great. Oh. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in place by this time tomorrow. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Was wondering about the guest room. Not that I'm expecting company, but... Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What if someone were to drop by unannounced? Yeah. The sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it myself. The room shall be ready in two days, in my opinion. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lumber into true masterpieces. You need but give the word. Fine. What are the racks? Of course, at once. At most one day for them to arrive, is my estimation. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. Some of those pieces would look great on display here. I agree. It would lend the place a certain witch's air. Shall I order new stands at once, sir? And yes. that makes it just please make sure they're thousand. solidly made, and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid armor upon a subpar stand. By this time tomorrow, they shall be ready to display your finest finds. Is there anything... anything else you require, sir? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. 
And since I finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. So, now it's 20, 12,000 crowns. My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time, though likely no more than two days. Will you be needing anything else, sir? So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. Will you be needing anything else, sir? No. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. I sincerely don't think there's anything else. Let's go! over on me, Witcher. I can see your appeal.
Come on. mentioned need to look around Seems he left the prison, came here, then went on to the temple.
Okay. scholars should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason good thing they didn't try to go in there without a witcher Magic barrier. Got a bad feeling, damn it. That's better. What the? 
Oh, it's so... Put the torch away. I didn't... Satchel looks like it belonged to a witcher. And there's the rest. Actually, it looks nice. Hey, yeah.
Let's go! Swallowed fill and hole. <laughs> Whoa there, sir. I guess those swords on your back aren't there as festoons. Maybe you could help me. Maybe. Depends. Well, there's a cave that, to my mind, would be splendid for aging wine. Not over dry, and none too moist. But? Well, damn things full of noise. The arse clenching sort. Clinkety, bangity, knockety kind. Sent McClark in to see, been two days, and he's not back. I reckon it's ought to do with the elven ruins. Oh, that about the cave. So, lend us a hand, will you? Could help. Provided you can pay. Agreed. Fine. I'll have a look in the cave, see what lurks there. Witcher or not, you still can bust your bum. Okay. I make sure these are here.
me, Mr. Gagar. Well. Die too soon, I hope the power of sword. I think I love the gold. Okay, down here. In fact, I hey, wonder if a witcher pays any taxes at all. All clear now. Did you manage it? Yeah, all taken care of. Ha! <laughs> and four call witches lay about some freeloaders? Bollocks! Storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. Not from around here, are you? Nay, from Povis we are. Wandered south for the climb before the first war. Chills up north were giving me why I feel lumbago. So long. Shake so bad. I cannot hold uh. my tools. Hey ya. Never thought I'd hey be there. To see times like these. A return to traditional values and morals. That is the remedy for Tusa's problems, not for two souls. Welcome to my humble establishment. What land do you hail from? Uh, been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Ah, 
Is it true what they say? About the war, death, destruction all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking about thy family in Edern, see? So I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Mentioned you have a family in Edern. Whereabout, if you don't mind my asking. In Vengeberg? You've been there, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, number of times. It's the hometown of my... ...of someone very dear to me. <clears throat> At any rate, pretty town, Vengerberg. Also didn't suffer too much during the invasion, from what I know. Oh, that is a relief to hear. A weight off my shoulders, I tell you. You play much, Gwent? Up for a quick match, maybe? Yeah, drink, food! What's the note?
Oh, wait. I excuse me, sir. Blood on his jacket, what's love? In Tucson, it is easier to find a part without a loot than a No one can grip the dead. Let's go! Oh, 
Hey, what sucked? Mind showing me your wares? Well, seriously? Went. Interested in a round or two? Okay, now you're playing cards. Gaskins, the latest rage. Uh, uh, not at all.
faster. Oh, for fuck's sake, Roach. Destroy it. Let's go!
And the plus, uh, we answer. It's time, I think. Extra two hours, so. To be safe, I cannot think by getting out of Riffy and Lucy. My grandpops can't believe it. Uh, yeah, I start. Not here uh, in the draft course. Seriously? Looks like my old lock. I mean, was it that brown? Without some carrot to move it. Come evening, I'm off to the bells, quick as a flash. I do what hey, yeah. I think it's something. Yep.
dripping down my bum furrow. Thank you for the rescue, Witcher. But saving home. Leaping Lipiota! We're saved, my hero. No hero, just a Witcher. Slaying monsters is my job. Oh, snap. Brave and humble! Oh, my! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Uh. Run this vineyard all by our lonesome? Oh, no. My father's the vintner. Oh, an excellent one, too. I merely help out. So where's your father? In the hospital. After he was wounded by those monsters. But he gets better by the day. Take care. Please, do stop in if you're ever around. Uh, I've sweat dripping down my... Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. Delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dolblathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they 
crazy at the high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. Just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, <laughs> the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. <laughs> I bet. Nice meeting you. So long now. Blood on his jacket, what's love? 